Now, I'm sure you recall the interview that GameSpot had with the Genshin devs talking about Endgame and welcoming new players. Today, I want to talk about what Genshin Endgame could possibly be. Now, funny enough, the formula for Endgame is actually already in Genshin. And it's not Spiral Abyss, it's actually the bounties. So in this menu, you have a three star, a four star, and a five star. Obviously the more stars there are, the harder it's supposed to be. However, it's not hard at all. So when you open this, you'll see a lot of different wording. All this is explaining are the perks, the nerfs, and the buffs of the enemy. Now this directly reminds me of Destiny, where they have this mode called the Nightfall. And in that mode, most likely in co-op, you would go through a bunch of different rooms and at the end you had to fight a boss and that boss would have once again certain perks buffs and nerfs and i think it'd be even immune to certain types of weapons in the game as well so just like with this the target is immune to cryo damage so your cracked ayaka your cracked ganyu your shenha you can't use that and that puts you at a disadvantage if that's like your best character you cannot use that character now i guess you could if you wanted to use physical damage but that's another story anyways the point is that this would be what the end game would be here at the top it mentions that if he falls below 15 hp a large amount of hp will restore after 10 seconds and just things that make the fight inconvenient for you that is the whole point in this but the issue is it's way too easy. You take out this guy in like two seconds, regardless of what he's immune to or what his perks are, it's just too easy. If they just made bounties a lot more treacherous and a lot more dangerous, a lot more difficult, which obviously Hyoverse doesn't really wanna make things difficult in this game, but if they did, that would make that exciting every week. And you'd be able to do all three of them. You wouldn't just be locked to one, you could do three of them, you could do them multiple times. But the main point is, it'd be cool to have something very difficult to kind of gear up for and actually use your artifacts, your constellations, or whenever you got against the enemy. And on that same note, one thing that really bothers me about Genshin is there's so many things that get wasted. Like for example, did you ever think about all these domains you used to go to for story missions? Like the Domain of Forsaken Ruins, Temple of the Falcon, Temple of the Wolf, Domain of Wayward Path, Shaky Pavilion, Formation Estate, and you can't possibly forget about the palace and the pool. I mean, come on now. Or the brand new areas like the Red Desert Threshold. I want you to sit down and actually think for a second. Has there ever been any reason to come back to any of these domains? But imagine if every single week there was a special set of domains you had to go to that gave special loot. When you enter in, you can play co-op, you can play by yourself, but the main thing is there'd be a bunch of different buffs and nerfs down here. The enemies would be ridiculously buffed. They'd be very tanky, very strong. You'd have to play it a certain way to get through it. And the rewards for this would be very much like the Spiral Abyss. You'd get a bunch of Heroits, a bunch of Mora, a bunch of Primo Gems, but also the rest of the items would be a lot like the Parametric Transformer, where you'd get a bunch of different things that are just completely random, and you just wouldn't know what you would get every time. Let's say you're playing four player co-op, each and every player in their team is gonna get a different item. Maybe you get like some billets or some weapons at level one, you get like five star artifacts to roll, maybe a five star ascension weapon material. Maybe you get some purple books, maybe there's like a 0.5% chance to get a crown, just completely random items. And once again, going back to the example of like Destiny with the Nightfalls, here you have an area where you have to traverse through, There'll be like different obstacles and puzzles to get through to get to the area. There are even things in this domain that actually buff the enemies itself. Now you can actually shut this thing down and it'll turn off and the enemies will no longer have the buff, but enemies that are around this thing will have a very slight buff. Obviously in the game, it's not that much of importance, but this is another potential thing that could be a major buff to enemies. And I bet you no one has seen this screen before because no one dies in the domain. But you can see here, you actually have a choice to exit or retry from the last checkpoint, and you actually get 10 retries. But my main point is that these domains could very well be used for something, events, or like even like the limited time ones that we have each and every patch. Like these domains could really just be used for something once again, instead of just being completely wasted. And of course, there's the other idea of Endgame, which is just adding more floors to Spiral Abyss, or just, you know, making it harder in itself, making like some kind of leaderboard for it or something like that. That's definitely the easy way to go. I feel like that wouldn't be much of an ask. And also going back to the article, they said they wouldn't make anything else that was like Spiral Abyss, but they never said they couldn't add to Spiral Abyss. So definitely not saying it's going to happen, but that is something that they actually could do since they didn't say they're not gonna do that. They just, they're not gonna add another game mode that's like Spiral Abyss. 
which is still not great news, but they could always add more to the current abyss. However, Genshin has been going on for about two years now. So I think even with a super ultra mega end game mode or not, the game will be fine going forward. I'll still be around and check out the story and the events and things that happen. But I just want to talk about what we could maybe see in the future. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of this whole topic. I wish you guys the best of luck. I will see you guys in the next one.